Hey guys, uh, hey guys, this is Atlas Gaming. Just wanted to show a real quick overview of a new little SV. Um, for lack of a better name, I'm just calling it the, uh, the see-through SV. And this came out, uh, or came about as a result of watching Excalibur's uh, February monthly challenge. And the guys were talking about it, so I wasn't in the contest, but the guys were talking about um, just uh, how good uh of a protection the shutters provide which is totally true and they're certainly a lot more compact so i thought why don't i make an sv that is all covered in shutters which is what this is so you can kind of see the internal bits and pieces of it um, especially from the back here uh, and the reason that i did that and i know it's kind of ugly and uh, you know i mean it's kind of ugly chic it's meant to be <laughs> Uh, not the horribly uh, beautiful here, um, is because the ship itself fulfills two missions. Number one is is to have a maximum amount of capacity of storage. So it's got one controller, which is full at 32,000K. Uh, in fact, there are some extra storage um, containers in here. And the reason for that is... Uh, I want to make sure that even if the ship is getting shot at and we end up losing one or several of these um, storage containers, that we're not going to lose any actual cargo. So as long as you're over 32K capacity, even if you lose a few, you're not going to lose your cargo, which is pretty important. Uh, the other requirement that I had was for the ship to really be uh, able to take up the least amount of space. So when it's in a um, parked inside of a CV, uh, I just wanted to be able to fit multiple ships uh, in there and as many of these as I can. And so hence the very square look to it. So it has the smallest footprint pretty much that you can get with this amount of cargo. Um, now, uh, some interesting or unique things about it is well, first of all, the guns are cheap and shitty. I did that mostly so it's a level 10 spawn. So you don't have to wait very long. The main mission of the ship is to just haul cargo from the planet up to a station or a CV up um, above. So it's really not meant to fight. The guns are just there to take out minor stuff. Um, now, it does have these uh, little canards with uh, fuel and... Um, engines on them. And I've started doing this on all my SVs because it, it's a way to kind of separate and keep the stuff that tends to explode a lot uh, away from everything else. I'm not totally doing that. I also have some fuel tanks in the back uh, up in the corners here and that is a little more of a risk but usually if this ship's going to get shot up it's going to get shot from the bottom or from the front not from the back or uh, the back up top here. Um, the other interesting or unique thing about it, you can see is, I can actually, let me, let me get out of God mode first of all. Okay. As we can open that up, and there is an airtight compartment in there. So, I'm not in God mode, so we're, we're flying around. Um, and if I just stop, if I stop the ship, I can get out. And I'm always going to be on top of the canopy. So even at this height, there's very little chance that I'm going to fall off as long as I'm not moving. Uh, and, of course, you shouldn't be able to get out if you're moving. So if that's the case, then you can open this shutter up and just walk in here. And now you end up in an airtight compartment that has all your basics. So you got oxygen, you got a fridge, you've got two constructors, and you've got an armor locker. Um, and you can actually see out of here. There are windows both to the sides and up front. And, of course, you don't really need to jump out of here. You simply just point at the cockpit, hit F, and you're in the, cockpot, uh, in the cockpit. Now, let's say we land. Uh, make a quick landing here. All right. There we go.
uh, you can see I do have uh, landing gear. I use the short ones again for the same reason. I, I just wanted them to be able to minimize the amount of space that the ship takes up inside of a CV. Um, so it's a very compact ship other than, of course, the, uh, the little canards up there. Um, but it's it's pretty straightforward. I do have access in the back here. I know it's not really necessary. There is Wi-Fi in the ship as well, but if you really wanted to, you could manually um, tweak the cargo as well or get at it. So that's kind of the ship in a nutshell. Um, let me just show you real quick what the build requirements are. Um, there we go. So it's really cheap. Level 10 unlock, like I said. Uh, fairly early in the game and it's it's got a full 32k uh in capacity so you can see it's fully loaded right now it flies just fine um no problem take it off it's a little sluggish but again that is just to minimize the ship i don't want to put huge heavy uh rocket engines in there in order to be able to fly it around So um, that's it. Hope you guys enjoy. Take care.